Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Today in Dreams we're going to be doing the tutorial that has to do with Welcome Home, which is where my kitchen here is from. So I'm interested to see what it's all about. Go in here, play the Welcome Home example scene for inspiration. Cool. Okay, I'm a little blocky chick. Ooh, nice. Got a little teapot prize. Ah. I'm gonna look all around for prizes. Oh, it unlocked this, I see. Cool. Get to the exit. Oh, it's... Whoa. There we go. Oh no, I gotta get that prize. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. There we go, we'll finish that part. Build your own welcome home template to create your own scene. Okay. Create your own welcome home scene. In this creative imp quest, create your own scene using this welcome home scene as a starting point. Use any elements you want and use existing sculptures however you please. Move them, clone them, flip them, it's up to you. Select search to find new sculptures and contraptions. So we got the Welcome Home Kit. I want to check this out. Welcome Home Kit has lots of useful things in it, but feel free to look around. Use categories and tags and sorting and filtering to narrow your search. You can, of course, add your own characters. Don't be afraid to completely change the scene. It's yours to do whatever you want with. Cool. I think I will change the character. Once you've made some changes, remember to switch to play mode and see how it feels. It's good to do this regularly to make sure it works the way you want it to. Once you're happy with the scene, go to the options menu and save it locally to complete this part of the quest. Let's see, I think... I think I'd like to use this as a chance to um, show how to make a dialogue scene, how to make um, conversation. So I'm going to put in some characters. 
let's see. Yeah, I have... I have some characters I can use in my creations. Let's use peacetime Chelsea again. Let's see, is she too big? Uh, she's a little too big. Yeah, that's good. All right, so. Get rid of this part. Just make it outdoor area and then when they go inside, something will happen. So I'm going to delete. That's the music. I'll leave the music in. Maybe we'll we'll see how the we might take it and control it. In fact, why don't we make this a spin-off scene from my game Quest of Kadath? So it's called Welcome Home. <laughs> the setting isn't going to be very real but yeah we'll just go ahead and make it it's supposed to be my creations yeah uh keep my changes character okay so we will use to go quite a ways to find these characters so I'm going to use Chelsea's adoptive parents who are in that game. They're quite a ways over here. Here they are. So here was her, her adoptive father, Trevor, I think I finally named him. Now we've got to get them to scale so that they look, yeah, that's the right size. And then, ah, dang it won't keep my changes in this template thing. I don't like that. It takes a while to find what I want. Okay. Need her. Villager woman. Think she's a bit too big, yeah. To make her a bit smaller. Her name is Beatrice in my game Quest of Kadath. So we're going to pretend that this is their village, Dun Village, but of course Dun Village did not look like this in the game. But whatever. I'm going to show you how to make a little dialogue conversation with them. get too complex with this. Kind of would like... Eh, we'll just... We'll have two separate conversations with the two of them. Mm, I need a little... Okay, now let's look in here for some things that I need. Oh yeah, stairs. These might work. I just need stairs to be able to get up to her. Because I made it so Chelsea can't jump, so... There always needs to be... Stairs she can walk up. There we go. Try not to get too finicky with everything. <laughs> it's not too important. Um, 
Okay, so let me show you how to make this work. Okay, so if you want to activate a conversation with people, how I do it is I'll make a trigger zone that will trigger when we walk in the door. Make it square. Make sure it fills up the whole doorway so the player can't avoid it. Okay, and then when this trigger zone is triggered by the player, I'll get out a microchip for the conversation. We will use dialogue, dialogue text display gadgets. So, and how I like to do it, we're gonna do settings for this one and then we'll reuse it over and over. So I'm gonna get rid of the text box and the border and the shadow and I'll change the alignment to the bottom of the screen. That's usually where subtitles are. I'll change the color of the text to white. Oh, and I'm also going to need the cameras to control. So we need to do that first. Um, I'll have a camera right here in front of her for when she's talking. And I'll control it with, I'll control all the cameras with counters. So I'm gonna use three cameras, one for each character. So I'll get out counters, one, two, three. Okay, uh, and I believe Chelsea has her own camera that we'll use for when she's talking. Oh no, does she not have a camera? We'll have to give her one. And the camera's gonna need to be scoped into her since she can be moved around. It can't be a camera that just stays in the same spot. It's gotta be scoped into her, and we're scoped into her right now. So that'll work. So then this camera will follow her around. No matter where she is, you'll be able to use that camera to look at her face while she talks. Okay. And then, so I'm going to name each of these cameras after the character that they're in, that they, <laughs> that they are looking at. So Chelsea, Beatrice. <clears throat> and Trevor, whoops, okay, so we'll, we'll connect the timer com counter full to the power uh, on the camera, so that when that counter is full, it will activate that camera. <clears throat> and then Beatrice's camera also connected to it. Oh, I forgot. One thing you gotta make sure you change when you control cameras is uh, disable controller in sensor input, which is a new thing they added more recently. That didn't used to be there. And also hide imps. So if a character is not possessed, you don't want to have the imp on the camera screen, unless you do. You do if you want to have the imp able to interact with objects and stuff 
which is a gameplay mechanic, but for me, I usually don't have the imp visible during dialogue conversations. But you gotta make sure you do that setting for all the cameras, or make one camera and clone it so that it has the same settings. Oh, and we're also gonna have to remember that... You know what? Hmm. Let's make all these cameras have zero transition time and a direct cut. Otherwise, the camera's going to pan around to the other camera. And that will force us to put delays between the dialogue. It'll just be easier that way. Okay, I'm going to clone this camera so I don't have to change its settings. And put it on him. So there's Trevor's camera. I could... I like things to be centered. I want him to be centered. Eh, whatever. It's good enough. Alright, and then put the counter in that camera to control it. All right, so I want the first dialogue to be Beatrice. So as soon as the player walks here, yeah, since the cameras disable control input, I won't need to disable the character themselves. Um, as long as a camera is active, the player won't be able to move around and mess things up. So yeah. When, when the player triggers this, it will activate Beatrice's camera and also activate this dialog box. Also, I need to have, I need to have a counter that controls this this area trigger so that we can turn it off. So the area trigger will be on at the beginning of the level, but when the conversation ends we need to deactivate this or it'll keep happening over and over. So it's powered on right now, but later we'll power it off. Okay, so let's get back to um, writing Beatrice's dialogue. So Beatrice is going to say Chelsea, dear, it's so good of you to come see us again. What brings you here? All right, and I'm gonna move. I'm gonna widen this box so that it all fits on two lines. There we go. And I like to get rid of the prompt to close, and instead use well. Actually, no. Let's use prompt to close for this. And it's, and the, it's not going to be a visible prompt to close. If I did this, I could activate it. So the, the close thing would be there. But I usually like to use an invisible thing. Most players know to press the X button to um, continue the dialogue. So I'm just going to have it be an invisible X button prompt in order to progress the dialogue. Okay, so then we'll change to... So what I just did there was I closed the dialogue box. So all the settings are the... Closed? I said... Cl I meant clone. I cloned the dialogue box, but um, <clears throat> several things are going to activate. When this activates, it's also going to switch to Chelsea's camera. So we're going to deactivate Beatrice's camera and activate 
Chelsea's and then Chelsea's going to talk. So we'll change this to Chelsea talking. And she will say, I wanted to invite you to, uh, yeah. Yeah, Armitage and I are getting married. So I guess I'll be making it canon that they do get married. Um, although I'll probably archive this so no one will ever know other than this video. But anyway, um, so after that, it should still have the same prompt to close, yeah. And then after that, we'll have to have Beatrice react. So we'll deactivate Chelsea's camera by resetting the count and activate Beatrice's camera again and activate dialogue from Beatrice. That's wonderful. You and he will make um, the perfect king and queen because uh, Chelsea became the queen of uh, Kadath. <laughs> Should we found out at the end of the the quest of Kadath. Um, And I'll just go ahead and continue more dialogue for her. Go ahead and wrap this up. Be sure to tell Trevor to So I will deactivate Beatrice's camera then and activate Chelsea's. I'm really glad they changed these dialogue text displayers. They used to be really big and it was hard to fit them onto the microchip canvas, but thankfully they made them small like all other gadgets. I really like that. So. Then we need one more dialogue from Chelsea. She's going to begrudgingly say, yeah, I will. She and Trevor don't have a very good um, relationship. <laughs> okay, and then when we finish that, that's when this will deactivate. We'll deactivate that trigger zone and also deactivate Chelsea's camera and then we should be free. Let's go ahead and check that that worked and then we'll do the dialogue with Trevor. Let's go ahead and save it so something doesn't get messed up. That part's already done, but I want to... <laughs> I should get rid of the... I should get rid of the logic for get to the exit. Let's see if this worked. Chelsea, dear, it's so good of you to come see us again. What brings you here? I wanted to invite you to my wedding. Armitage and I are getting married. Uh-oh. Something went wrong. 
Hmm. It didn't activate Beatrice's camera. I must have put in the wrong thing. Let's see. So after hers... Ah. Uh, I think... No, that should have activated Beatrice's camera. Why didn't it? That's weird. Let's test that again, see why that happened. I should go ahead and delete that part. Okay, good. Her, her controls are disabled right now. Okay, so right now we need to figure out what's going on wrong here. For some reason, her counter is not active. Pressing that should have activated the counter on this. I don't get why it doesn't. weird. Huh. Why didn't pressing that activate her camera? I don't know. I'm gonna try changing... changing it from prompt to close to the X button. Maybe that'll help it somehow. Let's get rid of these. So that should activate that and deactivate. Wait a second. Yeah, it deactivates Chelsea's camera, but it doesn't activate Beatrice's camera for some reason. Ah, I keep forgetting to delete that. Ugh, why, why does that keep happening? I don't get it. Is it, does it have something to do with this trigger zone? This trigger zone would be activating I don't know. That's really weird. Ah, uh, phooey. Don't get it. Maybe because these are still active, they're still doing something when you press a button. These should deactivate after you close them. I don't get it. Fooey. <laughs> I do dialogue all the time. Why is it not working this time? I don't get it. <sighs> yeah. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to figure it out later. Dang it, I wanted to show how to do this. If I can't diagnose this problem, what should I do? How about we, it might have something to do with that trigger zone. So why don't we make it so that 
we'll go ahead and deactivate the trigger zone at this point. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let's see. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to delete this exit thing. Don't want it. Okay. Okay, good. Now it works. So it was the trigger zone. For some reason, the trigger zone was messing it up. So if we deactivate the trigger zone, it won't mess up the logic. Chelsea, dear, it's so good of you to come see us again. What brings you here? I wanted to invite you to my wedding. Armitage and I are getting married. That's wonderful. You and he will make the perfect king and queen. Be sure to tell Trevor, too. Yeah, I will. There. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. I was going to make some dialogue with Trevor, but I think that's enough of an example. You get it. That's how you make dialogue between characters, and you control the cameras and all that. So, I'm going to save this one more time. And then we'll do the next part. All right, part three. Release your welcome home creation online as a playable dream. All right. Send to dream. Start fresh. Okay, and then we're gonna save it as Chelsea comes home. All right. I think I'm supposed to make it playable. Wants me to add categories. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Drama. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, I didn't save the scene. Okay, I think it's fine. I'll, I'll go ahead and save the dream. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to, oh, dang it. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, good. It, it counted for the, um, the problem was I hadn't uh, released this yet. But it still released the dream, oddly enough. But yeah, I need to... What? Oh, I guess it automatically released the scene. But it made the scene unlisted. That's weird. But this, this is... Whatever. Anyway, let's do the rest of the imp quest. All right, comment on another player's welcome home dream. Okay. Chicken bomb run. Oh, I've played, well, I've played a Mario welcome home game. It's not exactly this one, though they may have changed it and that's why it looks different. I think I played it anyway. I played a Welcome Home game that had a Mario character in it. Alright, good. There, we finished Welcome Home. Alright, so... We did... We did the Welcome Home quest, and I used it as a chance to... teach you how to play, how to make... dialogue between characters. Yeah, so anyway, that was how to do a welcome home game, not that that's a genre, but also I showed you how to make dialogue between characters. So anyway, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay.